Hi, I am Felipe Silva, and uh, I am a research scientist at the Indiana University Network Science Institute. And uh, today I will be presenting our work on the Brazilian Chamber of Deputies as a complex network. So why study Brazilian politics? Well, I am Brazilian, so it's my home country, so I am interested, but uh, there are other reason, reasons as well. Uh, for instance, what, it, Brazil is one of the largest democracies in the world. It's among the top 10 biggest economies. It's a pretty young democracy, so with about 30 years old. It's among the most influential, if not the most influential uh, country in South America. The good thing is data about politics is uh, available and uh, it's easy to access, parse and process. And Brazil has a multi-party system, so it, it, it can display very interesting dynamics. The National Congress is the legislative power in Brazil, and it is divided into two houses, the Senate and the Chamber of Deputies. In both houses, the representatives are elected directly by the people. In the case of the Chamber of Deputies, there are 513 seats and 30 parties with at least one seat. Even being a very young democracy, it was the stage for several corruption scandals, with many of them related to cases of cronyism, which is now part of the cu political culture there. And uh, not only one, but two presidents were impeached. Th all of this led Brazil to become a very polarized nation nowadays. And um, we believe that these characteristics should be somehow reflected in how the legislative representatives are organized and uh, how these dynamics of alliances and disputes all unfold over time. In order to represent such a system, we use as a proxy uh, the, 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 the representative agreement or disagreement on voting on propositions. So here we propose a framework to study this system as a complex network. And the main objective is to grasp some knowledge of this complex system and know, for instance, if the parties are really representing the plurality of ideas and interests of the society. So what's a complex network? It's a way to represent complex systems by using graphs in which we have nodes that represent the elements of your system, like researchers, people, proteins, politicians, and the edges that represent their relationships, like academic collaboration, friendship, functional similarity, or alliances. So how do we go from the Chamber of Deputies to a network? First, first let's select some representatives and for each representative, we collect the history of votes in propositions. We would like now to connect those that have similar voting patterns. In practice, to do that, we assign a score for each pair of representatives. And if, if they agree, the score increases. And if they, if they disagree, the score decreases. And uh, in the end, you have a full network, but we only allow positive scores to, to become links. Else, we apply a backbone extraction method to remove spurious links. So finally, we now have some networks. And uh, here, each node represents a, a representative. And uh, you can see how it's evolving over time. You can see there are communities. You can see the, like the, the color is indicating the political party of, of the representatives. And you can see that the structure is always changing. So very, very, very far from stationary. The first, the first thing that we did was obtaining the community structure for the networks over time. And uh, we found that most of the time, the effective number of communities is much lower than the amount of parties which indicates that uh, they form large coalitions, as we saw in the visualizations. 
To illustrate what kind of information we can get from the community structure, here I show the networks for two time periods. One for 2000, when the government was the Brazilian Social Democracy Party, PSDB, a center-right party, and another for 2003 correspond to the first year of the Workers' Party government, uh, PT. You can clearly see that in both cases there are two major communities corresponding to the government and opposition, and in the lower panels you see the distribution of parties for these two communities. Parties are somewhat displaced according to their uh, position in the political spectrum from left to right and colored from red to blue. In 2000, most of the center-right and right parties were together, while the left-wing parties didn't agree much with them. But after they became government in 2003, even the right-wing parties made alliances with them. This was later revealed by the uh, vote-buying scandal called Mensalão, has a case, has a clear, clear case of cronyism. We also introduced other network-based metrics, such as fragmentation and isolation of parties. For instance, isolation is the average shortest path length between the deputies of a party to all the other parties. We also looked at this measurement just before and after the most recent impeachment process and found that some interesting signals there. For instance, isolation of the Workers' Party that were at the government at that time increased considerably just after the beginning of the impeachment process. And uh, it, it lasts for, for a quite a long time, after the, even after the, the end of the impeachment process. And uh, in fact, only recently they have become a little bit less isolated. So what's next? We can use uh, textual information that we have for propositions to give more context about the relationships we found among the representatives that could be really useful. We can also use social media to connect representatives and compare with their voting patterns. That could be another interesting direction. Doing some kind of representative to VEC, uh, embedding of representatives. So we can try to do analogies and visualization of, of, of this space. We can also try to understand the isolation and fragmentation versus other economical, economic or social indices and see if there's any relationships. And uh, finally, is the predictive potential of the proposed framework. So thanks, you can access the full paper scanning this code or clicking on the link. Thank you.